connection. Okay, very short video just to look at solderless copper bonding. Um, there's a number of agents on the market for bonding copper without solder or without heat. Um, we've tried and tested most of them. They're pretty good. It you know goes um, you know for the amateur somebody who's a bit frightened of soldering, uh, doesn't rely or isn't used to it. It's a great way of doing your pipes. So the preparation method is pretty much the same, but without any flux. You just get some wire wool or some 60 grit wet and dry um, or paper, and make absolutely sure that the inside of your fitting is. Um, completely clean. The good thing about this method is rather than using Yorkshire or soldered fittings you can just use end feed fittings. See our project on end feed fittings. So clean the fitting thoroughly, clean the end of the pipe that you're going to be inserting into the fitting. I'll just do one end for the purposes of this video. This stuff sets pretty hard in about 45 seconds um, and is ready for water after about seven minutes. So clean the ends of the pipes, then get the fitting, um, give the bottle a really good shake, I've already done this, but give the bottle a really good shake before you use it. And then just a thin bead of the solution, the bonding liquid around the inside of the fitting. And then if the camera can get a close up on this, just do a wavy pattern on the outside of the pipe until you've got it all covered. And that's plenty. Get the fitting that you've coated and push in to the pipe and twist round a couple of times and you'll find that that's bonded pretty well. Grab a cloth from here and wipe the surplus off. And you have a really neat joint which in seven minutes time will be completely waterproof. So uh, an excellent way for the amateur to join copper pipes. Um, I've actually seen one or two professionals using it to be honest because it is just so neat. Um, it stands the, the same kind of water pressures as solder up to about 200 psi um yeah brilliant